morning. You welcome to the BNFT Digest, your daily source of the latest business news. My name is Lily Pearl Baba Otu. And in our first story, Finance Minister Seth Tekwe has hinted that higher consumers of electricity will ultimately bear the cost of recently announced subsidy on tariffs, which the ACT initially said will be taken care of through a government financing arrangement. Moving on. CEO of African Energy Consortium Limited, Kwame Jantua, has criticized the lack of long-term plan to boost power supply in the country. Speaking to the BFTOnline.com, Mr. Jantua argued that the present power situation could have been avoided if successive governments had devised comprehensive plans to boost power generation in the country. According to him, if there was a long-term plan in place, the country will get sustainable power no matter which government is in power. And now to our final story. Trading Industry Minister Ekos Biogabra has called for an effective and sustainable trade facilitation regime to drive the inflow of foreign direct investments as well as enable government to rake in more taxes at the country's entry points. To this effect, he challenged the various ministries, departments and agencies which routinely issue permit exemptions for import and export transactions in the port community to work toward meeting issuance of such trade requirements within a maximum of 48 hours. So that's it for today on the BNFT Digest. For more of these, you can visit the BFTOnline.com or you can grab a copy of the BNFT newspaper. Do have a nice day.